How's it going there fellow junkies? In today's video we're going to be talking about what's on my iPhone. I mean Android phone of course. This is my Nexus 6 and I'm going to show you what I like to load up on my new phones. Let's go do this. Here we go. This is my Nexus 6 and this is what I've been rocking on it. So I'll talk about some of the applications and some of the things I like to put on all of my Android devices. And I guess the first one that is really critical to me, just because I like pushing files and moving things around, is this bad boy right here, ES File Explorer. I love it. This is probably um, one of the first applications I put on my device, whether it's rooted or not. I just like to have access to my SD card, to my infrastructure, and if I have root, even have access to my base file structure, the root of my device, and really get in here and tweak whatever I feel like. So when it comes to one of my favorite favorite application, EX File Explorer is the ticket for me. Along with that, you obviously have all of your Google applications like Keep and uh, Drive. I always use those. I use Keep a lot for just writing notes and saving them. Just makes it easy. Gmail, you can see. These things come default installed, so they're just on there for me. Um, I do like the Play Movie as well, which is just really, really nice. Lots of cool movies in there. Um, here you guys can see what I'm interested in. Here's my library. Normally I've got free stuff, kids movies, and, uh, you know, Red. Oh, dude, I love these movies. Those are, like, awesome. Batman, really good movie also. So, very cool. Definitely use those all the time. There's play if you want it, play games, app store, photos, you know, play store I should say. Um, pretty standard. So you can see here in my app drawer, this is the kind of stuff I like. Got Android Wear, of course, because I've got my smartwatch right here. That is uh, very, very critical to uh, have that, because I do love it. BusyBox for root. Uh, there's my connect for my watch again. Basic stuff here, nothing too exciting. Email application comes default. Um, if you have root access, Flashify. This application is really, really nice. Um, basically what this does is it allows you to flash um, recovery systems very easily. So boot images, which is kernels. So if you want to overclock your processor, you can use it. If you want to flash recoveries, you can do that. You can even flash zips. So it just makes it very, very nice. You can even back up your stock kernel and back up your stock recovery. I actually didn't do that. It says I'm running twerp right now. But you can do that also before you go ahead and flash these things, so you can always restore them. So it's just an excellent application. This is the paid version. The free version, you get about three flashes, I think, a day. Um, that's it. But the paid version, you can do as much as you want. So excellent, excellent application. Love it, love it, love it. If you have root access, it's great. Definitely check that one out. Um, let's see what else we have here. Hangouts, obviously, that's my text messaging application along with all uh, my Hangout stuff when I talk to people. This is really cool. This is called Icon Changer. And the point of this is, say you just want a different looking icon. So we're going to go to our phone icon. And you're tired of that icon looking that direction. So you can come in here and you can do different things. You can come in here and hit this one. And you can actually change it and edit it. Pretty much everything in there, however you want it, which is cool. Um, or you can go to change and you can find an icon pack, which I've already have one downloaded here. This is called Knox, a really nice icon pack. And you can kind of scroll through and pick what you want it to look like. So I'll go to default icons. So there's one, there's a bunch. This would be what it would default to if I applied the theme. And you can change to an icon, hit OK. And it goes ahead and it quickly generates that icon. And it actually just adds it to your page. So it doesn't replace it. So there you see, you can see there's the icon. Here's the old one. So if you wanted to replace it, you'd remove that one. And you bring that one down there. And bam. So really easy on the fly icon changing. Um, and that's without even root access. So that's very, very, very cool. We'll keep moving here through this app drawer. There's a game I play once in a while, mainly for the kids, Angry Birds. It's an awesome game, though. There's that Knox theme right there. Really nice. Page manager for managing my Facebook pages. Um, QR code, obviously everybody needs QR code. Um, so every so often you want to scan something. Now, you guys have probably seen this in other videos, but um, right here is what I actually use. 
SCR 5 Plus Pro. 5 Plus stands for Lollipop or Android 5.0 because it has screen recording built in defaultly. And actually, you can see what I do here, which is very cool. You've probably wondered this, how I've done this in other videos. Basically, I come in here and I set this up. And you can do some things in settings and change how you want to record and do different things. But then all you hit is that little button right there and it starts doing a screen record plus front facing camera of yourself. So that is how I've done videos with this little box in the corner. If you ever were wondering, that's basically how it is done. Very, very cool, awesome application. I use it all the time. Now, quick reboot, real nice if you ever to access. Just easily reboots your device into recovery bootloader or any of those. We'll keep scrolling here. Obviously, Super SU um, for root access. System Tuner, this is an app that I had ever since I started doing root. This is just a really good app. So you can come in here and you can change your CPU min max right here. You can change your governors, you can change your GPU. Um, there's more governor stuff. You can get really in depth with it if you want. Um, just an excellent application. It does have a task manager built in and you can set up to auto close certain applications um, after a certain period of time, which is just really nice. This is really good for managing your device. You can see K messages and logs as well. This is great for if you're having problems with a certain application. You can kind of look through it. Um, you do have a terminal emulator built in, so you can go ahead and run things in the terminal terminal emulator as well. So just an excellent, excellent application. The other thing that's really cool is you can have startup apps. And this goes ahead and shows you applications that are going to turn on when you start your device. But let's say you don't want them to turn on. You can go ahead and click them. And that's going to disable this application on startup so it doesn't actually start that app. So I definitely love that feature as well. There's some great stuff you can do here in System Tuner. This is System Tuner Pro. I do recommend buying it because it's well worth it. All right, to continue on with some awesome applications, I have Tapa Talk, and I use Tapa Talk to manage all the forms that I follow, which you can actually see here's a bunch of them. So XDA is number one. That's where I'm always hanging out. Elemental X, a uh, really good form. DroidRazor.com, RootWiki, DroidHive, and so on. Android Forms, Android Central, blah, blah, blah. I hang out on XDA the most, though. I won't almost hardly ever go anywhere else. So, very cool, awesome application if for managing your forums and online communication with whoever's online. Also, you gotta check this out. This is an excellent, excellent application. This is called Team Viewer. And this is what I use to manage my computers. So, here's a bunch of computers that I have. And you can see online, offline. You can remote right into them. I can actually remote into my desktop right next to me very easily, which is clicking this button. And I'll show you this is really cool. I use this all the time. I use it sometimes don't work. Just need to quickly get out of my computer at my house. It works excellently. So boom, there's my computer, which is actually just right next to me. I can actually see the whole computer here. And you can even get in there and change screens and go to my second screen click on stuff. It, it, it's just an excellent, excellent application. And I do use it all the time. Definitely, if you want some remote, remote desktop stuff, that is the way to go. It is free if you're not using it for commercial use. So very, very cool. Definitely awesome. Weather bug, absolute favorite, favorite weather application. I love the live radar. That's probably my favorite part of it. Um, just really quickly, I can just go right into it and get into my live radar really easily right there. Boom, throws me on a map, shows me the weather, I can zoom in. There you can see I'm right on the border of Illinois, Indiana. Little weather front coming in right there. So very, very nice, definitely favorite weather application right there. Um, YouTube, obviously, and then Zedge for wallpapers, ringtones, funny, cool stuff. Uh, real good application too, just for downloading cool wallpapers and things like that. So. It comes up and shows you like their featured stuff. I get a lot of wallpapers from here. Actually, there's the wallpaper I'm using right this minute right there. And last but not least, let's go ahead and show you that last one. This is Zuper Widget. And actually, this will explain this because this is pretty cool. Zuper Widget, I have done a video review on this. If you haven't seen it, you're going to check it out. It's going to put it in the video description down below. But um, it actually allowed me to create this guy right there. See that little Android head? 
I'm gonna show you what this Android head does. Some people have seen this already. It's pretty cool. Once I explain it, you'll get it a little bit better. So what I did is I little head and I created him and then I added his eyeballs to track with battery, which is just kind of fun. So basically, as your battery drains, I'll show you my battery percentage right now, it's at 31, his eyelids shut. So when you start your day, he's gonna have a full black eye, 100% battery, and as it dims, as you know, you lose battery, it goes lower and lower and until his eyelids shut and you're out of battery. So just kind of cool, I really like it. I like the mod, I like this little widget. And then, just for kicks, I added a little little feature in there with this little uh, plug right here. So we'll plug it in and you guys gotta see <laughs> what happens to this awesome Saijin mod head when you plug this guy in here. Check this out. Boom! <laughs> so he wakes up because you gave him some juice again and he tells you right up here in the top, 30% battery right between his ears and that little electrical bolt. So <laughs> just for fun. Um, anytime you charge him now, he'll do that. You unplug him and he goes back to his like battery charge state. So there you go guys, that is going to be kind of my overview here of what's on my device. Um, basic standard stuff. Oh, also I actually do normally have Apex Launcher installed, which is really cool, an excellent launcher. Right now I'm using the Google Launcher, but uh, Apex Launcher is an excellent, excellent launcher as well. You can see just I don't use it very often but you can also use Knox to fully theme this really quick so you can go Apex Launcher apply icons say apply and really quickly it'll have all these applied and you'll see that full theme from Knox shabam on the device so looks really good you can theme them even more some of the icons won't fully change so you guys can actually fully theme them in the Knox application and do them each manually if you want but uh, there you go that's pretty much what I'm working with right here there's my uh, oh, I'll change my wallpaper on here no big deal though I can change that back but oh also the battery guy you can click on him and it will open your battery specs as well so there you go that's gonna be it here guys for what's on my device or I should say what's on my Nexus 6 uh, hope you guys like this quick video here and um, you know, stay tuned for more Android videos coverage on just about every device that's out there. I've got most of them, so stay tuned for that. Please like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.